I'm Eric Cutts, Software Development Manager at Amazon. I'm here today to talk to you about leadership principles and how we interview for them. Leadership principles at Amazon are used to guide the business in almost every way. We use them during career growth discussions, uh, making hiring decisions, or just day-to-day -day business decisions. You'll know when you're being asked a leadership principle question when you hear, tell me about a time when. For example, tell me about a time when you had to make a decision between two different technology choices. When answering behavioral questions, I like to think about SBI. SBI is situation, behavior, impact. Situation, what was the situation? What was it that your team was trying to achieve? Behavior, what was it that you did? What was your plan of action? And impact, what was the outcome? When talking about impact, you really want to measure it with data. For example, how many customers did you impact? Or what was the dollar value in business? Let's jump right into it. So we're just going to walk through a sample behavioral question. Uh, I'm going to play the interviewer, and Erica is going to play the interviewee. So let's get right into it. Uh, Erica, so tell me about a time when you had to make a decision at work, but you didn't have all the data available. Yeah, well, my team had a big ops issue a few months back where there was an outage and customers weren't getting some of the orders that they needed. And so we made the call to roll back. Okay, how, how, did you, how did you make that decision? What was it based on? Well, we knew stuff was going wrong, so we just know that you know, for customers not getting what they need, well, you, you just got to roll the feature back that we deployed. Okay, so this is an example of uh, an incomplete answer, and you can kind of see that we didn't quantify the impact. It wasn't really clear specifically what Erica did, and so you know, we're just going to walk through it again, and uh, we're going to tighten it up a little bit. So Erica, tell me about a time that you had to make a decision at work, but you didn't have all the data available that you'd like. Yeah, my team had a big outage a few months back. And we knew that there had been an issue because I received an alarm, I was on call. And so I responded to the alarm, started looking at some of our dashboards and saw that there was a big drop in our order count. Uh, that usually signifies that something's gone pretty south for the customer. But the problem is I didn't have enough time to figure out what had gone wrong at a root cause level. So how did you move forward from that? It seems like you didn't have all the data that you'd like. So, so what happened next? What did you do? Well, I knew that I couldn't solve this just by myself because our system is quite large. And so uh, I set up a conference call with several of the other engineers in the team and uh, started a divide and conquer process and nominated a bunch of folks to start looking into different aspects of the system and start triaging. I see. So after the investigation, uh, what, what was the next step? What did you do? Well, once we hit about hour four, even though we didn't know the exact impact on the customer, I knew that it was too risky to continue leaving this feature live in production. And so I made the call to do a rollback. How did you know that you know, this was uh, so important that you wanted to do a rollback and just not continue on with that investigation further? Well, there's a point of uh, diminishing returns with an investigation like this. And given the fact that this is a feature that any customer on Amazon can use, oh, you'd never want to have a sustained customer impact like this. And we'd already gotten a couple of um, customer service calls. And so once you have a couple of confirmed customer service cases, it's, it's kind of a good best practice to do a rollback and then allow for time to go and do the root cause analysis. I see. And then so what was the follow up on this? Well, it was a couple of days of detailed investigation, um, not only on what the actual customer impact was, finding out you know, the number of customers impacted, the dollars that came out of that, but also trying to root cause and what subsystem we had a break such that we couldn't ship the orders that we needed to ship. And so once we determined what that was, we came up with an action plan to mitigate it. Mm -hmm. I was responsible for getting all of the partner teams that were involved on board and making sure that they made space to go and deploy a hotfix mm -hmm. and then getting that deployed and tested out in production and then finally doing the deployment again. Great. Have you seen this issue happen again since? No, because we were able to root cause it, we haven't had any issues. But what it did do is it allowed us to expand our regression test suite. Great. So it looks like you might have prevented additional issues from happening in the future. Exactly. I mean, of course, you can't always prevent it, but We've also taken steps to start monitoring additional services mm -hmm. that will help us know that if something goes wrong in that subsystem in the future. So you can see uh, in the previous example, there was very little detail. Uh, Erica didn't go into what her specific actions were or how they made any decisions, uh, what the scope of your work was at the time. 
how many different uh, partners you were working with and, and what real mechanisms you use to communicate with people. And you can see that in her follow-up uh, answer that, that she was able to hit on all those points. And I felt like it was a pretty good answer. Thanks. Thanks, Erica. Now that you've seen these questions in action, here's what you can do. Sit down and think about your work history. Write down specifically five or six different experiences and how they might apply to the leadership principle questions. One thing to keep in mind during your interviews is not to use the same example every single time. It's okay to look at different aspects of the same problem or your experience, but throughout the day you'll probably have one or two behavioral questions for interviewer, and so you're going to want to mix it up a little bit. Pay special attention to the data points. Lastly, you really want to talk about what did you do versus the team. So what was your impact versus what did everybody else do? And thanks for watching. 